where bridge fails. In some cases, bridge is a very hard thing to kind of manipulate. Let's say I have these two objects, and what I need to do is um, make it so these two objects are joined together at the very top from over here to over here. Well, let, let's think about that for a second. Um, I am taking faces from this one and deleting them. And actually to save me some time, I'm just going to delete that object and duplicate it. I need to join these two forms together and mesh combine them and try to hit bridge. Okay? Of course that's what's going to happen, right? Well, bridge only understands linear pathways. So, to show you how this really works, I'm going to undo it just a couple times. So I have one box with a hole, one box with no hole. Okay? In this case, I'm going to take this box and make it arch over to the other box. And to do so, all I need is a path for it to follow. To make a path, all I do is have to make a curve. So I'm going to go to curves and I'm going to draw a curve from here. And I'm just going to make this curve a little wacky and then down. Okay, so that's my curve. Now, another thing is I need to set where this curve is starting. A very quick way to do this is display polygons face centers. And then I can take this device, go to the control vertice of it, and I can move this vertex around. Okay. In this case, I could snap it to one of these if I need to. To do so, I just turn on wireframe unshaded. That way, I can see those little dots, and I can be in the component, and I can hit V on the keyboard to point snap it right to in place. Notice this one doesn't have one of those, so I'm going to have to rely on luck or plan ahead. I could have um, had the faces there to begin with and then deleted them out after the fact. So all I do here is pick my faces, pick my curve, and what I can do is go extrude square box and in this case I'm going to say use selected curve for extrusion and I'm going to choose the number of extrudes so in this case probably about 30 to even make anything this detailed and apply okay as you can see voila it went on the magical path it went all the way through and it went on to the other side now this is a gross representation of that of course because look it's starting to pinch and everything else because it was an awful big part but here's what what's nice about it after the fact I could go in to the side and choose that curve now sometimes it's really hard to highlight the curve so keep in mind um, you're not going to get it the first time. You can go to the vertex of the curve and now manipulate everything about this, this structure. I can manipulate its form by going like that. If I use the arrow over, I can now highlight the next curve point, straighten that out. So I have awesome control over the fact that this curve was at first warping the mesh to the point where it didn't make sense and now I straightened it out just by using the curve after the fact. I can also pull this up a little bit that way I have some room in here to connect it to the other form. In the next video I'll show you how to connect two forms together using another command.